using table set and tables. Here we go to the y equals view and we can put in a function. This will be the function we evaluate today. The quadratic function 2x squared plus 2x minus 5. And we can evaluate this function by going to our table view, pressing second, then graph. And here we have the standard table view. And from here we can scroll up and down and evaluate whatever whole number input value we want. And then see the consequent output value. Now that's a very powerful feature, right? It gives us a lot of options. We're going to examine an even more powerful feature today called the table set mode, where we can change the table view. We access it by pressing second, then the window key, and this is what we get. Again, it's very powerful. We're going to change table start, the delta table, and the auto to ask. First with table start, we can scroll to any number we want in our calculator, even if it takes a long time. But here we can enter whatever we want. It doesn't even have to be a whole number. So we're going to enter first 11.5 and then go to second graph. And we see that at 11.5, our output value is 282.5. And we could have entered whatever we want. And this can really save us a lot of time. And here's a great example of it. Here we have an equation giving the percentage of carbon-14 dependent on the number of years. And if we're asked to find the percentage of carbon-14 after 25,000 years, that would be a lot of scrolling. But with table set, we can go to second window, and we can change that table start to 25,000. And then press second, graph, and we can see that at 20, after 25,000 years, 4.4503% of carbon-14, the original carbon-14, will remain. So that saved us a lot of effort. Now let's look at this function. It looks like it's, well, it's pretty congested. We're going to go to the table view. and We press second, table, and we see that, well, we're looking for roots or solutions. And we don't see any here. We're looking for y values of 0. We're going to scroll up, and we still don't see y values of 0, although we see at x equals 0. That's kind of close. But what we're going to do is go back to our table set mode, per second, window. And we're going to change table start to negative 1.5. And we're going to change delta table, that triangle table, to 0.1. And when we do that, we can go to second, graph, and we start at negative 1.5, just like we ordered. And now we scroll upward looking for zeros, and we get to x equals negative 0.3, we get a zero. y equals zero when x equals negative 0.3. So that's one of our roots. And we can continue scrolling, and we get another one at x equals 0.2. And we scroll down to x equals 1.1 and we get a root of zero. So we found three roots that we didn't find before because we were able to go and microscopically, uh, microscopically adjust that delta table to a smaller number. Let's look at this problem. Sam's Bike Shop will charge you $50 per hour plus $200 for parts to repair your mountain bike. Sue's Bike Shop will charge you $25 per hour plus $375 for the parts for the repairs. After how many hours does the repair cost the same at both shops? Well, we can go to our y equals view and use our basic knowledge of algebra to put the functions representing both bike shops, Sam's bike shop under y1 and Sue's bike shop under y2. And from here, we can go to our table set mode and we can use a very powerful feature in our graphing calculator. We can change the in the independent row auto to ask. And after we've done that, we can go to our table view and we just don't see anything. We don't see input values under x, output values under y1 or y2. That's because under ask, it's really asking us for them, and so we need to enter them. So we're going to enter these input values one at a time, and we're going to enter 23 hours first, and we enter that, and we see that we have uh, $400 apart between Sam and Sue's bike shop, and so we know that that's not the right answer. And for choice G, we see we've entered below here, 7 and 2 thirds. We enter 7 plus 2 thirds. And when we enter that, we get pretty close. But still, they're not the same, so that's not the right answer. And we choose choice H. We enter 7. And we see that they are, at this point, 
both cost are $550. So this is our right answer. So to summarize, we've been able to see that table set is a very powerful feature. It's very easy to use. Uh, first, we can start the table where we want with the table start option. Uh, secondly, we can set the intervals the way we want with the delta table, that little triangle table, how far apart we want them. And uh, finally, choice three, we can choose only the exact table inputs we want with the ask mode instead of with the standard auto mode. So we hope this has been very helpful to you. I invite you to come and see our other lessons.